have loads of exciting events happening in the art world and I'll be sharing some of them with you on this week's episode of Art House. A warm welcome to the program. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Let's begin with After Nature, the grand opening exhibition and performance. To a solo show called Cogitation, still in the commercial city of Lagos. Then a group exhibition by several artists at the Art Pantheon. have that and more after we take our wordsmith for this week who coincidentally created the image that accompanies his words. Our wordsmith for today is Your Eyes Speak by Tio Akinola. When I look into your eyes, I see a rushing river. Your tears are a waterfall, so cold that when I look, I shiver. When I look into your eyes, I see a fighting soldier who fights and wins a war, never worrying about the enemy that is upon your shoulder. When I look into your eyes, I see something no one can defeat. Your eyes are your words. Your eyes are how you speak to your world. Nice one there, really interesting combination. Now to our first feature. After Nature is an exhibition by several artists. The Jodi Dance Group also added some spice to the grand opening in Lagos. Gemini Arts is the location for this grand opening, which has paintings, sculptures and other forms of art on display. In this After Nature exhibition by three artists who bring their diverse techniques to the hall. We have fantastic artists here, three artists with different energy, you understand? And um, what they are all using is recycled medium, like the Samson is using recycled which the nature has actually imbibed in it. The Olumide Onotipe is actually painting nature, which is the flower. And the uh, Ucho Zoka is actually painting the environment. They actually infuse nature and colors into it. The artists take different approaches to communicate. For instance, one of the exhibitors, Samson Akinere, had to find a model that can express the correct emotions of joy from within. I love uh, the facial expression of the model, and I try to ask one or two questions from the model. Why is she smiling this way? And she said, she is smiling this way, that it's happiness that is coming from within. So I tried to be happiness from within, from within because of the expression of the model. Found objects and discarded materials make it to this exhibition, and the transformation is pure ingenuity, showing how the most unusual items can come alive through art. All the materials I work with are discarded materials. Not materials that I, I bought or I got from the market as new materials. They are wasted materials that I picked, I bought, but are used. So I'm try, I'm reusing them. I'm giving birth to the lifeless, uh, like the beer cans, uh, the tin tomato cans, uh, trophy cans, uh, the wood, 
Sometimes I pick this wood. I collect it from gutter. I treat them, burn them, clean them to, you know, desired uh, shape I want them to be. Beyond the exhibits, the show climaxes with this solo performance by the founder of a Jodi dance company, Adedai Oliadi. And the audience get the best from both worlds. Now let's step into Chike Obiagu's world of cogitations at Co Gallery, still in the commercial city. His mixed media works are like no other, distinct due to the features they all possess, as some body parts like the head, lips and eyes are a bit exaggerated. The mystery behind this is what the audience is trying to unravel in Cogitations, a solo exhibition by Chike Obeagu at Co Gallery, which explores the dualism of human nature and its social manifestations, a concept this artist has been working on for a while now. He's been working in this medium for about 20 years and it's very expressive and he expresses all his ideas. In fact, the work literally behind me has all his works in the gallery space. So you can actually see that he's putting, inserting works that he's done inside a work and having people um, look at them. And they're very expressive, they're all collage and he has these big eyes, which he's very well known for. And in this show, in fact, he's done a couple of other mediums which we're very impressed to have. Paper works, as well as, well again, paper works with newspaper and paper and some works on oil. He fuses various materials into his current fixation, photo collage, to mirror the realities of life, which is part of the message he's trying to pass across. Using torn pages from magazines and commercial ads, he explores the experiences of the everyday through narratives of music, politics, religion, family and kinship.
The Enugu Indigen has a Bachelor of Art and Masters of Fine Art degrees from the University of Nigeria, Onsuka, graduating with Magna and Summer Cum Laude, respectively. He is a PhD candidate at the Hamadou Bello University, Zaria Kaduna. This artist has won several awards, including the 2011 National Arts Competition, the UNODC Award for Partnership in Combating Trafficking in Persons, Prince Claus Fund for Culture and Development, among others. These are the works of art you sent in this week. Let's begin with this one called Cheap Skates. It's done by Belo Toby with charcoal and pencil on paper. Then Falope Ibrahim has Like a Sunflower 2. He says it's finally completed. It's on oil on primed canvas. Komene has this one, which he calls ecological art, is done with found objects. Then this work, done with charcoal and pencil on paper, is called Hope for the Future by Joshua Uyebukola. Abba Adams is showing us his collage painting, which he calls a self-portrait. Innocent Chikeze has his acrylic on canvas piece. He calls it Best Friends. While this white ink on paperwork is done by Henry Ilya is called Haske. Then give us flowers, that's what the Itayo Alagwe is saying with this charcoal and acrylic on canvas piece. While the ancestral just has this art of portraiture done with oil on canvas. And finally, this artist called Donald Ola is asking a question with this digital painting he did of musician Tiwa Savage. He says, is art where the passion lies? That's a big question. And that concludes the works of art you sent in this week. We appreciate you for sending them in and encourage you to keep them coming. Taking a moment now, when Art House returns, we enjoy a medley of works of art at the Art Pantheon. Join us again. An artist should be able to improvise, use the materials around you to create great art. Escapism is a group exhibition at the Art Pantheon in Lagos which features works of art from some of the country's finest hands. Take a look. Large bold canvases with interesting topics captured by five indigenous notable artists Guidra Latishi, Ndidi Emefili and Thea Epele 
Gerald Chukuma and Kainebi Osahenye. As individuals, these artists can hold their own. By exhibiting together, the energy in the room is palpable, creating the perfect atmosphere that set the tone for the title of the exhibition, Escapism. Sometime over a year ago, I was in a discussion with um, Wejwa Latishi and we were talking about different things around our lives, different situations we encounter on a daily basis. And then we thought, can we escape? What's the way out? And then Wejwa said, we create a world of fantasy for ourselves, for the moment. And this moment, we're in a different world. We forget our sorrows, we forget our problems, we forget our issues, and we're focused in that world. But then, I ask those questions. Can we really escape? Is there really an escape? Where do we escape to? So, we concluded that on a daily basis, on a per minute basis, we need to live in a world of fantasy, create fantasies for ourselves. It helps us get out of troubles. And which related this to the series she's been doing on the girl child, on the girl child marriage and all that. When you create these fantasies and it helps you forget the troubles, it helps you forget the experience, it helps you forget the trauma of all these issues around. So that was how escapism came to birth. This need to escape all the troubles in the world and move to La La Land, even if it's just for a few minutes, is what the audience enjoy. To get this feeling right starts from the choice of artists. I thought of who and who do we bring together to do this. The, of course, the very first, the originator, automatically put you a lot to shape. And then I thought, okay, let me work with Gerald, kind of be. And the name started popping up. Lastly, Anthea came into it. I love her colors. I love the vibrancy in her colors. And if you look at every artist's works, you will see the vibrancy, you will see the colors, you see this escape into this world of fantasies in their works. Take, for example, in DDMA Feely. I, each time I stand in front of occasional swimmers, I'm totally lost. A look around these variety of images that explore various topics reveal issues everyone can connect with. Our issues, our troubles, our challenges are actually lying on its own. Most of the time we walk in into these issues ourselves. Okay, I want to be rich, I want to be super rich. And then I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to do this, I have to do this to be able to become rich in life. So most of the times we walk into some troubles ourselves. And that was when she titled this work, When Trouble Sleep, Younger Go Wake. I'm doing a series titled Wrinkles Series. And um, I think wrinkles could be part of our story. The problem is that we cannot decide for it. If we could, maybe we could be telling our stories and we don't need um, um, a, a book to write it. So one of the things I'm trying to do is try to um, pull out the stories of the wrinkles. And so you have grandmother's story, and then you have grandfather's story. Everybody's got a story. Everybody's got a story. Um, Oftentimes we want to escape in those stories and, I, and, and that's good because where you can't, where you can't um, live what you want, you live in what you want. So for me, stories could take you out of where you don't want to be and place you where you want to be. Um, you escape so that you can be saved. Art really is about escapism, you know, you can, you can go anywhere you want to go to with art. But um, this, I try to represent images of um, the human form 
that is here and is not here at the same time. So, you know, we all try to find a way to know we are in our thoughts, you know, we are, we are away in our minds. And that's what I'm trying to portray here. People who are not really um, present and they're thinking, they're, they're in their minds, basically. an exhibition that excites me. I've been beaming with smiles, I've been so excited. The choice of artists, I couldn't have a better team. Um, the execution of the works, amazing. I look at the work, I walk around the gallery and I'm like, yes we did it. The soothing and therapeutic nature of the arts is once again emphasized in this group exhibition at the Art Pantheon Gallery in Lagos, especially during this period where people are grappling with all sorts of emotions. If you thought that was amazing, then wait till you see what we have lined up for you next time. On the program next week, we see Fuji, an opera which returned with this exhibition titled Fuji is Art with 21 themes produced by 24-year-old Bidemi Tata. To a series of events held by the National Gallery of Art from a discourse beyond art preservation to this exhibition of master artists. To dialogue, an artist's reflection in color, a show at Thought Pyramid Art Center. To enjoy that and more, tune in to Art House. Visit our YouTube page to see all other editions of the program. Your Art House experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. That's Art House today. Thank you so much for making us a part of your day. And we look forward to seeing you again next time. But you always know where to find us on our various social media platforms where the conversation continues. And do know that you can see this and other episodes of Art House by going to our YouTube page as well. And share it so that more people can enjoy the beauty of the arts. I'm Melinda Akinlami, encouraging you to stay safe and keep being creative.